Let's sketch a graph of this piecewise function and identify its domain and range. A piecewise function has the interesting behavior that its definition changes depending on what piece of the domain we look at. In this example, if x is less than 2, which on the graph would be anything over here, then the graph will look like this. But if x is greater than or equal to 2, which is anything over here, then the graph will look like that. So we have to graph each of these pieces separately on their appropriate domains. Let's start with x minus 1. You should know how to graph x minus 1. It's just a line. Its y-intercept is negative 1, so that's right there. And it has a slope of 1. So I could go up 1 over 1 and get right there. Because again, the slope of this line is 1. So then the line would look something like this. The problem with this sketch right now, though, is this is not what the function looks like everywhere. This is only what the function looks like when x is less than 2. So I have to find that. Where is x equals 2? Well, that's right here. So it should only be to the left of this, because x has to be less than 2. It should only be to the left of this that this line is what the function looks like. So our function f doesn't actually look like this to the right of x equals 2. We need to make this line then a little bit shorter. So it should look like that. We go up to x equals 2, but not past it. Now, what about at x equals 2? What is the behavior of the function? Well, this first part says x has to be strictly less than 2. So at x equals 2, the behavior of the function actually switches. Because of that, at the end of this line, we should draw a little open circle. So we know that at x equals 2, this line is actually not applying anymore. A different line is applying. Once we get to x equals 2 and past it, so x greater than or equal to 2, this is what the function looks like. 2x plus 1 is just another line. It has a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of 2. So if we go over 1, we would have to go up 2, something like that. But then again, we have to consider when this line actually applies. It only applies when x is greater than or equal to 2. So we have to make this line a little bit shorter. So something like that. And then because this line is actually how the function behaves when x equals 2, we should emphasize that with a closed circle at x equals 2. So this line has an open circle at x equals 2 because this line doesn't actually apply at x equals 2. When x equals 2, this line applies. So this line has a filled in circle. That's how to sketch a simple piecewise function. What is the domain of this function? Well, what x values can we plug in? We can plug in any x values you like. If you plug in something to the left of 2, the function will act like that. And if you plug in anything else, the function will act like that. But yeah, we can plug in any x value we like. So the domain is all real numbers. We could write all real numbers in words using this symbol representing the real numbers or with interval notation. Everything from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, what about the range? Well, the line is going to go up to positive infinity in this direction. And then this line down here will be going to negative infinity in that direction. So we're going to get most of the y values. There's just one little gap right here. When x equals 2, this first part of the function is at y equals 1. And there's a little hole there. And then when x equals 2, this part of the function is at y equals 5. So everything between 1 and 5, those are actually y values that this function never takes on. And so those are not in the range. Again, the range of a function is the set of all y values the function takes on. So in this case, that's going to be everything from negative infinity to 1. But there's an open circle at 1. 1 isn't actually ever achieved. So we're going to use a parenthesis there, not a square bracket. If we used a square bracket, that would mean that 1 is in the range but 1 is actually not in the range. Our function never takes on a value of 1. We then have to union this with the other part of the range, which is represented by this line. That line goes from 5 to positive infinity, except this line 
actually takes on that value of five. There's actually a filled in circle there. So we don't want a parenthesis here. We want a square bracket to indicate that five is included. So that's how to sketch the graph of and find the domain and range of a simple piecewise function. Let me give you an example now you can try yourself. So here's another similar example. You can try sketching a graph and finding the domain and range. I'll put the solution on screen now. And here's the solution. Make sure you understand the range in this example. It's kind of interesting. In this graph, this part of the function is actually not contributing to the range at all. If we just got rid of this line, that wouldn't change the range. It would still just be from 1 to positive infinity. And since that's the range, we could also write it as an inequality. y is greater than or equal to 1. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my pre-calculus course and pre-calculus exercises playlist in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.